For most of us, fear is very close. Fear of not being intelligent, fear of not being beautiful, fear of being living a, a lonely, insipid, meaningless life, fear of death, fear of not me making life into a great, marvelous, glorious success. And we worship success. not being able to fulfil, and the fear of what the husband or the wife or the woman will say. So this is a very complex question, and this fear has lived with us for ever since where man has come into being. And to understand the whole nature and the structure of fear demands your great attention, not just a flippant examination or a mind examination of a mind that's tired. So to go into it as we shall. There must be this freedom of exploration and understanding, not only verbally, but non-verbally. And that's the beauty of communication. There is the verbal communication, which is necessary, but also there is another form of communication, which is communion, when both of us are intensely interested, vitally, about this question of fear and the resolution of it, seriously, with all our being, with all our heart and mind, then there is a communion. And it is that communion that is necessary to to be beyond it, beyond this enormous complex issue of fear.